I'll be teaching a new dog to swim, and then all of a sudden there's Cutie Pie coming out, swimming alongside, coming up and saying, oh yeah, we're on lesson two, are we? Yeah, I was there once, don't worry, stick with it, you'll get there. Since that day I live in a dream Typically, pugs are not the best swimmers naturally. So for Cutie Pie, we really need to make a big effort when she was young to give her the confidence and the know-how to get in and out of the pool and learn to really have some fun with it. Initially, Cutie Pie swam just like most other pugs did and it was about on a 45 degree angle with the bum sinking down, panicking with the front legs, head up out of the water and it drops their body straight back, not really going anywhere, swimming around in circles and in a real life scenario, if there was no one there to pull her out, uh, she's gonna wear out of energy and eventually sink. So, it is one of the most important things to do here at the farm is to make sure all the dogs can swim and can self-rescue themselves. But with a lot of practice, Cutie Pie has become a very competent swimmer. The beautiful thing about this is the fact that she is at the biggest disadvantage to be able to swim due to her short legs and, and body shape. When other dogs come to learn how to swim and Cutie Pie can see that they're anxious, they're nervous, they're scared of the water, she comes out and comforts them and she swims alongside them and you can tell that she's just there saying, hey, I'm here with you, I was in your shoes once, I know it's scary, I know it's a, a uncomfortable place to be initially, but trust me, you're gonna love it, stick with it, you'll pick it up soon. It's a, it's a really beautiful thing to see. I love when Cutie Pie does it because you know that this dog is looking over at a pug thinking, well, if you can swim with those tiny little legs, surely I can do it. And you can see they, they grow a little bit in confidence and, and Cutie Pie's there with them saying, yeah, you did a good job, good job, keep it up. And it, it really works. She plays the role of a support dog very, very well. Some of the new dogs, they might be bigger, uh, that come into the pack, they underestimate Cutie Pie because that genuine concern and love and support and care for these new dogs or, or dogs learning to swim or dogs feeling uncomfortable or anxious, that's a natural quality that Cutie Pie wants to help soothe and th help that dog overcome. A lot of the time to the, the new dog's peril, they underestimate Cutie Pie because she is one confident, capable dog in or out of the pool. And you should just see the way she <laughs> manhandles Freddo when we throw the tennis ball. Uh, often Freddo will be coming back with the ball in his mouth and also Cutie Pie hanging off the side of his lip at the same time. One of the other things that makes Cutie Pie Cutie Pie is being so fearless. She just wants to take on the world no matter what's going on she wants to be a part of it. She doesn't shy away from anything and that's what makes Cutie Pie so special. That, that never say die attitude, that I'm just as capable as anyone else attitude, um, that fearlessness, it just makes for such a unique, <laughs> she's telling Fredo off right now. See, this is, this is the wrath of Cutie Pie. No one wants to mess with her once they get to know her. A dog. <laughs> this size, a little cute pug, in amongst our pack of misfits and, you know, big, tough, strong, capable dogs. Cutie Pie has found her place in it. The way she usually wins is not through brute force, as you can imagine. It is through the relentless bombardment of, I'm not going to give up until you submit. Some dogs come in and don't give Cutie Pie much respect. That is a bad move. <laughs> you do not want to underestimate the pie. 
she's like, hey, hey, hold on. I'm the queen here. <laughs> and if they don't believe her, oh, gee, they find out the hard way. It's one of those things where for the first 20 minutes or half an hour, this new dog might be pushing cutie pie around a bit, teasing her, grabbing her tail, you know, uh, roughing her up a little bit. But cutie pie never takes a backward step. She absorbs every bit of it and keeps coming back. And it's not until six, seven, even 12 hours later where this dog is just exhausted and wants to sleep and cutie pie is still there, nipping at their heels, chewing on their armpit, gnawing on the back of their elbow. All those little soft spots where cutie pie is just like, hey, you wanted to poke the bear? Well, here's the bear. And she wins over every single dog that comes here and earns the respect that a little dog in this pack deserves, which is take my hat off to you, cutie pie. You have solidified your position here and in this pack and it is right up in the top. But I just love to see that she's got both of those sides. She's got that side of, yeah, I'm small, but I'm not to be pushed around. And then she's also got that other side of being that caring, supportive, and uh, going out on a limb to be there next to another dog that's going through something that's quite tense, quite uh, making them quite nervous and make them feel very uncomfortable. Cutie Pie is that dog that will nestle up next to them and say, don't worry about it, you've got this and I'm gonna do it here with you and look at me. If I can do it, you can do it. I just really take my hat off to her. I've got a lot of respect for Cutie Pie and so do all the other dogs and so they should. It is a really special dog jam-packed into that little bread loaf that we call cutie pie. Helping Miss Violet when Miss Violet was learning the ropes and, and learning how to trust her sense of smell and learning how to use the rest of the pack as her eyes and, and to guide her. She would often fall asleep in the middle of activities and find herself getting lost. And I remember one day we were out doing a big run in the paddock and on our way home, uh, I could see the dogs starting to take their different routes home and they all meet me at the back gate and come through and I'm standing there counting all the dogs, making sure they all come back and I think, oh, okay, we're missing two and it's Miss Violet and Cutie Pie. Like I just had this thought, I bet you Cutie Pie is taking Miss Violet under a wing and teaching her how to get home. And sure enough, about five minutes after the last dog came home, there's Cutie Pie with Miss Violet doing zigzags behind her and Cutie Pie just calmly checking in on her, making sure she's still behind her and leading her all the way back to the back gate. It is something that you wouldn't expect from the smallest dog in our pack. You would expect that she would just be looking out for herself, trying to keep up for the rest of the pack. But she's not, she's looking out and looking after the rest of the pack. And if any of them fall behind, she's the dog that goes in there and says, hey, I'll help you out, come with me. And that's exactly what she did and proved herself that day with Miss Violet. And that was something that all the other dogs hold a lot of respect for Cutie Pie, especially those Staffy sisters. They are now much bigger and much stronger than Cutie Pie, but love her to death and respect that she is a much higher rank in the pack than, than they are. And it's a really, again, a special way that Cutie Pie has proven she is such a valued pack member and it is a really unique and special mentality and behavior that she exhibits regularly here at the farm. She is that caring, supportive, and you know, really strong family values dog that looks out for everyone. Even though she's the smallest, and and you know, there are every single dog here is stronger, bigger, more powerful, but she looks out for them all. They're all her brothers and sisters, and she loves all of them equally, and doesn't want to see any of them uncomfortable. Uh, you know, feeling anxious or scared she's right there with them to say, hey, we're going through this together. You can rely on me. Uh, I just love it. I think it's such a special characteristic to have. And we're very blessed to have Cutie Pie here at the farm 
uh, you know, holding it together the way she does and holding this team uh, in, in such a close-knit bond. You know, the, if it came from one of the bigger dogs, you, you'd half expect it. But because it's come from the smallest dog, uh, you gotta, you got to take your hat off. It's a, it's a special thing. Slowing down to hold my hand Richer than a hundred grand You're worth every second I could spend Don't know what the future holds But we'll always have our songs And you'll always have a person to call home Since that day I live in a dream 